Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Aki from Zak for On The Ground News. And today we have with us Muhammad Al Ghazi. Muhammad Al Ghazi recently began a series of talks talking about the Islamic history. And I'm gonna ask him today a few questions about these, uh, this series. It's called The Revivers. Muhammad, first I would like to say to you, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm well. It's, it's quite hot today. Yes. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, please tell us a bit about this series which is called The Revivers. Yeah, uh, very briefly, this series, after Bismillah uh, alhamdulillah, this series is um, a small uh, look into Islamic history after, from after the death of the Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. We focus particularly on, let's say, the most important incidents of each um, era in Islamic history. Um, so that's generally what it's about, and we try to get the lessons that can be beneficial. Um, from these uh, particular incidents. This is in English or? Yeah, of course, it's in English. Because, yeah, the reason being, obviously, like, um, for, uh, like, uh, there's a lot of things that, for example, that um, I've read or I've looked into um, in Arabic. And what I found is that uh, I would like for, for, for to share this, uh, this uh, khair or this uh, goodness with others. So, for that reason, it's, uh, it should be translated into English or spoken in English. Yeah. Okay, why did you decide to do this project at this time? Yeah, well, as you could see, then, this time we're living is full of uh, tribulations, it's full of trials, it's a very difficult time, uh, particularly in, in this region, even for, for people that are watching from, from the UK or from wherever they happen to be, whatever um, respective country they're in. Um, we see the, the trials that this Ummah is undergoing and the difficulties that it's undergoing. Uh, whether it's uh, what's happening here in Sham and Syria or <coughs> next door in Iraq or whatever, very difficult time. So <coughs> I want to highlight the fact that uh, even though this time is difficult, it's not that it was it's an uh, unprecedented time. There was times in Islamic history, even with the best of people, the Sahaba, uh, عنهم, or the Tabi'een after them, or anyone uh, that even that came after them, there was difficulties. They did have difficulties, but the main thing was about how they overcame these difficulties, and and also the men that that uh, that um, had the responsibility of dealing with these difficulties, how they were, how their character was and all of the above, you know, as they say. Okay, uh, what do you expect to see from these uh, talks? Yeah. Or this series? No, what I think, what I hope to see is that, um, is that people are uh, engaging in the sense that they understand slightly more about uh, Islamic history or a real picture, a picture is painted, um, as I said maybe in the, in the trailer, as opposed to a utopian image, meaning that uh, it's, uh, it's like, um, uh, there was difficulties, there was uh, hard times, and it's not like, wow, you know, the Sahaba, they're so amazing, and the Tabi'een, they're so amazing, and, you know, we can't be like them. Uh, to a certain extent, this, this is true. However, however, I want to uh, look uh, and analyze, uh, and see, analyze how they overcame the troubles that they have, that they, that they had, and uh, how they dealt with them. So yeah. we could learn it in a practical way, if you like. Yeah. Okay, a bit more about you now. Yeah. Um, you, mashallah, you're a student of knowledge. Who encouraged you to study? What made you want to study? You know, as they say, the, the pro process of uh, primary socialization, everything starts at home. Yeah. Uh, so obviously for, uh, for me, particularly, my mother encouraged me because she studies herself and she teaches and stuff like this. So it starts at home. And then after the, the initial influence, my shuyukh, my teachers that I sat with, and alhamdulillah, Allah, uh, I was privileged enough to travel uh, around a bit to different countries to see the different students there, like Islamic studies students and stuff, and see the effort that they put in. Even like, uh, alhamdulillah, at one stage I traveled to, to Africa, to Gambia, and I saw the students there, you know, waking up at two o'clock in the, in the morning and turning on their candles to study and, you know, the poverty that they're right. living in and stuff. Uh, for me, it was very inspirational. I see. I said, if they could, uh, you know, do it in the and learn so much in in the in the, the situation they're living in, you know, I, I should I should be doing more effort because we have Allah's privilege privileges us with more, and you know, and even the basics that that we have should we should uh, facilitate them to serve, you know, uh, to to worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and to to carry on the message. Okay. Finally, um, for the people, inshallah, you'll see this also. After you, this video, maybe you can check out the revivers. Um, we know what happens behind the scenes. Uh, the people at home don't see that. Masha, a lot of work has been gone into the quality of the video. It looks really nice. What's the importance of it being to look so good? No. First of all, alhamdulillah, this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But after from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's from the efforts of those that are working on this uh, program. Uh, the reason is because people nowadays, they're not really like um, 
uh, I wouldn't say most people are not bookworms. They're not really into reading and, you know, like uh, research and stuff like this. I think most people's fair to why, say... Why, why are you looking at me like smiling this. when you say <laughs> that? <Yeah. laughs> I'm not like this. So uh, the reason is that uh, I want to pr present this message in a short and concise and also an entertaining way. Yeah. I don't know, for those that maybe have had a look at the, the trailer, it's more of like... It's like I'm telling a story, you know? Yeah. It's not like um, the traditional way of doing it where you sit down and there's a paper in front of you mm. and it's like two hours and you know, everyone's <laughs> sleeping, you know? It's just, yeah. it's more like entertaining, the different camera angles, the, it's the, it's the, it's the modern way of I was speaking to the masses, if you like. Jazakallah khair for your time. May Allah put barakah in your project. Jazakallah khair for joining us. My name is Akif Azak for Underground News. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.